<laughs> welcome in our next guest. Uh, we want to talk about the coronavirus and its origins, something we've been talking about for many, many weeks here on Newsmax. Uh, GOP lawmakers are demanding that Dr. Anthony Fauci resign or be fired, claiming that he has, quote, lost the confidence of the American people. Joining us now to talk more about this is Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett. Uh, Congressman, good morning. Good to see you. Happy Friday. A lot to get into. Yes, sir. Great seeing y'all. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's our Rob. pleasure. It's great as, being on with you. As always, uh, Dr. Fauci spent the last year plus, a year and a half, 15 months. He was throwing out first pitches uh, at, at Nationals games. He was on magazine covers. I think we've got one of the classics. He was on the cover of InStyle magazine. If you're not looking at your screens at home right now, that is Dr. Anthony Fauci poolside with a pair of shades on. That's the type of fawning coverage that this man has received for the last year and a half. Uh, I, I have an honest question for you. At this point, given what we know, Congressman, do you think Dr. Fauci is even a good doctor at this point? I don't, I don't know what his doctor, I don't know what he studied in actually in med school. But, you know, this is the classic case my dad used to talk about. He was a dean at the University of Tennessee. And they would always bring in the people that caused the problem to fix the problem. And they would profit from it. And it's clearly what's going on here. You know, I, I think with these emails with him and Zuckerberg, you know, he should have um, taken a page out of Hillary Clinton's book and destroyed them. I and mean, what in the world? It's like they're, they're trying to plan how they're going to market this to the world. And then, of course, all of his science, he keeps saying, trust the science as if he is the science. It's a really a weird, a weird mechanism that he that he's spewing out. And he said, don't wear the mask at first then wear the mask and then double. And then we all saw, you know, President Biden wearing two masks and how important that was. It's just um I think the only people that are going to win during this are the Chinese Communist Party. Well, there because that's it's clearly where this thing has come from. You know, we were told that in the beginning. This has come from the uh, the Wuhan virus. I was told that uh, weeks before uh, before it really was a big story, and then all of a sudden the cover up for them and um, and our connection and his connection to that. You know, it's here's what's going to happen. They'll they'll have a, a big hearing in D.C. weeks away. And we'll we'll find out after it's not a news story. I mean, he should have. I, I guess he should have sent his emails on um, Hunter Biden's computer, and then he would have been all right. Yeah, at least it would have been. Uh, at least it would have been suppressed. Uh, only the New York Post yeah. had that story, and they got their Twitter account canceled for two weeks. Congressman, I, I want to bring. I want to mention something. You just brought this up. Uh, the the science that that Dr. Fauci's his his opinions about everything, the severity of the virus, whether or not we should ban travel from China, uh, as you said, masks, um, whether we'd have vaccines in a year, uh, double masking, it has constantly been changing. And, and the left loves to say this, that, well, science is fluid. It's always evolving and always changing. Yet when we talk about climate change, that for some reason is what we now call settled science. But apparently the coronavirus, it was never settled science, but climate change is settled science. Well, it, first, it, you know, they, they're trying to feed that, that untrue story, I feel like, about the bat. The bat wasn't even from that region. You know, they put it out, and the media just eats it up. They're like lap dogs. They're Pavlov. They bring right. the bell, right. the, the liberal elite, and then we all just lap it up. And it's just not the case. It hasn't been the case from the beginning. It is it, This this virus, is, is, is if it is evolving, I don't know what it's going to evolve into. Congressman, there was a, uh, a rally that no one's talking about. Uh, yesterday, there was a rally outside the National Institute of Health. It was a fire Fauci rally. So I think that should tell people <laughs> where the American public is, is shifting right now when it comes to Dr. Fauci. Question for you, why don't you think that President Trump fired him after November 3rd? It seemed like he wanted to, but he never actually did it. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if, if Mark Meadows or somebody had his ear and just said, leave it alone or what, because it was the story. I, he should have fired him from early on when he became the when he injected himself into too much. Um, it clearly uh, everything about this guy. I mean, you know, we, we've come to find out now that hand to hand transmission doesn't happen. It's clearly an aerosol. You know, in Tennessee, you couldn't get a you can't get cornbread unless you're masked up and, and you're, you're gloved up. So it, it's clearly uh, false information, and his science hasn't been the, the science that we needed to trust from the start. All right, Congressman Burchett, uh, good to see you again, as always, my friend. Look forward to having you back on soon. Have a nice weekend. Hey, brother, you do the same. Thank you.